lovely things all right up here? There are some hieroglyphs. Yes. There are hieroglyphics. So, just a little bit of background. Egyptian hieroglyphics were the formal writing system used in ancient Egypt. It combined logographic, syllabic, and alphabetic elements with a total of some 1,000 distinct characters. So basically, it's a system of writing that uses symbols to represent objects and ideas, whether that be tools, animals, boats, or motion, time, and joy. So, do we use hieroglyphics today? Does anybody think we use them today? Yeah. Okay. So, present day hieroglyphics, this is my favorite one. My grandma used them, she didn't even know it. <laughs> and then just ignore the motivational quote she sends me every day. But this is considered a hieroglyphic when you use that in shortened words. So, and can you imagine how confusing it would be if we didn't have like types of symbols for traffic? That would be kind of crazy. So, why? We obviously have hieroglyphics in present day, so why is that relevant to us specifically? Can anybody think why? Because we use those to represent um, things we're trying to explain or the point we're trying to make. Yeah, because we can teach with them. So here's just a few examples like the water cycle, recycling, evolution. These are all concepts and ideas that are summarized <coughs> that help us understand better. So, let's make our own hieroglyphics. So I have a few examples here, whether they're objects or ideas, and I want you guys to pick something to represent each one. So what symbol do you guys want to use for navigate? Compass. A compass? Okay, just like really excuse my... Is that what a compass? Everybody knows the compass? Okay. So, what do you guys want to use for safety? Uh, seatbelt. Ooh, I like that. Seatbelt? Okay. So, I'm going to draw the little, like, person in the car. And then it's like, I'll play the seatbelt. Okay. So, what do you guys want to use for money? Dollar sign. Okay, and what about psychological? Mm. Just to represent. Like a thought bubble. A what? A thought bubble. That's what I need to learn. Psychology. Okay, so freedom. I was gonna say wings, but that works too. Black. Okay. Like I said, sorry for the. Okay. Self actualization. Can you think of anything that represent that? I think Nestle's pyramid hierarchy. It's probably not a good example. How about. Peace. Well, that's one too. So, how about we use a stick figure looking into the mirror? Because he knows that that's him. <laughs> Do these all make sense to you so far? Mm -hmm. Like, can you easily do this? Okay. So, esteem. What do you guys think for that? I can not use esteem. I don't know. Somebody with a smiley face with a little thought of it on the top of his head. Okay. What about peace? Peace sign? Okay, and just three more. Voting. You're going to do the I voted sticker. Yeah, so all I think is I voted sticker. Okay, and what about love and belonging? A heart. Oh, yeah, a little heart. But it, no, in, with a little lock in it because it, like, belongs to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and what about transportation? Car. Okay. All right. So, what's this one? Peace. Money. Comp that's the compass navigation. one. It's the navigation. Psychological. Psychological. Safety. Safety. Freedom. Freedom. Voting. Voting. 
love and belonging, self position, self esteem. So, can anybody list all those like off without looking at the word bank? Okay. Do you want to do it? Just shake your hand. Peace, honey, navigation, safety, psychology, noted. What's that one mean? Esteem. Esteem. Okay. Sorry, it's like hard to see. Love and belonging. And then. Safety. Okay, and then. Psychology. Psychology. Okay, so if we go like this. This is a triangle. Does that look familiar to you guys? What is it? Hierarchy. <laughs> yes, Myoslo's hierarchy of higher learning. So, I had a hard time studying for this. And if I could have had something like that triangle over there to remember it and have symbols like that to connect it, that would have really, really worked for me. So. Why use hieroglyphics? So it enhances the student's ability to make associations. Like I said, we can look at those and then combine them back to Maslow's hierarchy. And then picture, picturing enhances comprehension in your students. It's more engaging. I feel like students will be more engaged and more adaptable to learning if you want to present an idea like that to them. And hieroglyphics mimics the symbolic nature of the brain's internal communication systems. Human thinking metaphors and symbols and word pictures and images. So I think it's a really good thing to incorporate in your classroom, especially for studying techniques after you use this to implement this idea on them to help them remember. 